so last time we read that how to read that file from text file now we going to know how to read that file from our system if that file is csv so now first we need to import that library that import csv file will import that csv and then i am storing that file name since i put in the same place so i have that here in the same file so i put that here directly or else if you have in different folder you can put that with the space complete bar so now last time we did with different format now this time we'll do in with different format so now i'm going to do with open and now i try to read that all those files so now when i read that file so now first one is that header if i go here now i put that name marks and flag as header so header also it's coming here and then it displaying all those details it's not able to detect that it's header so in this way we can do that read csv is that one function where we can read that file so since we open that file name with read format similarly to first one how we are doing that open file file name and read format so we are doing it here and since we need to loop again so i put that with loop function so now we read that and put that in that reader here and then we are printing each of them so displaying correctly each of them so now suppose now if i go and now we have different things so now if we go that and put that here let's see what will be that output now we printing line 2 So as we know, what it will print. So line two, since it's storing in that flag, it's going to print. So as we know, it's already stored that in array format. So zero, one, and two. So it's going to display us all those flag, whatever is there. So it's displaying all those values. So now, in similar way, if we need, just like last time, if we need to have that, check that. Which all have that pass, so we can do that line. So line two, as we saw that it's only going to return that flag. So put that line two equals to p, then print that line. So it will only print us who all have passed that. So all those details we got it here. So we print that here. All those things. suppose in the same way, if we need to print that, we can do similarly this one. And if we go it here and print that only, we need to now print that name of that student who pass. So now, if we run that, we can see. Now we know that zero hold for the first one, and it's a stand for the name. So it's going to display us that since we're doing that print line, it displaying everything, and we put that print line of zero using that slicing, then it displaying only name of that student who have passed. So based on our condition, we can. take care of what all we need to display in our uh, in result so i hope you like this video